Hey, what's going on, my man? Is Rick here? Thank God, no. He's actually out <laughs> getting a quote to repair that golf sign he got in Chattanooga. Cool. All right. Well, maybe you can help me with this. A Filipino bolo knife from the Insurrection War. All right. Definitely has some weight to it. You're probably, probably chopping up some coconuts with yeah. this thing. <laughs> Today I brought in a Filipino Insurrection bolo knife. I got this from a connection of mine who got it from an estate sale in Virginia. This knife is really unique because souvenirs from the Philippine Insurrection are very scarce to find. I think I can get a thousand bucks. Normally I'd call Rick, but he really doesn't want me bugging him right now. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know too much about it. And what's really cool about this is it's got an original label here by whoever captured it, stating where this was found and who it was given to. My insurgent war bolo taken at the Battle of Balantong, Philippine Island, November 21st, 1899 by the 26th Infantry. That's pretty cool. What are you looking to do with it? You know, you usually bring stuff in here for Rick and he's not here, but I figured thousand bucks, man. I mean, something like this, that's hard to price and you can't find, there's no comparables out there. First of all, I don't know too much about it, Normally call someone, but I'm guessing it's probably some worth somewhere in maybe like the $500 range. Yeah, a little more than $500, man. $850. $500, that's the most I'm gonna give you. Seven, see now I'm getting hard. Now, see I've come off so much and you're just not bringing it up and up. <sighs> that's, you know, still gonna be a lot. My wall, 600 bucks, that's it, and I'm walking. Let's call. You don't wanna see it somewhere else and get Rick all mad. All right, I'll give you 600 bucks for it. All right, man, you're tough. You're tough, man. No, you're tough. All I'm right. gonna get fired for this. I just okay. bought something for what it's probably worth. <laughs> no, man, I think you guys are gonna do great with this. All right. All right, man, I'll see you up front. In the end, 600 bucks is great. This knife is really unique. I don't know what the true value will be. I'm sure these guys will figure it out and do good with it. What are you doing? Wrapping up an item for customers gonna take it home with them. Okay, Chum, that stuff costs money. Stop, stop, it's wrapped. It's a piece of art. It's wrapped. What's this? A Philippine war knife. Where'd you buy this? I bought it from Spencer, your dad's buddy. What'd you pay for it? 600. Chum, this is worth like maybe 200 bucks. 200 plus about 800. That thing's easily worth $1,000 if not more. I know it's not worth that. I'll bet you. Bet me what, Chum? That I'm right? I know I'm right. I bet you it's worth $600 or more. And if I'm right, you're walking pinky in a tutu. Cool, and if I'm right, you're cutting your ponytail off with this thing. I'd never cut my ponytail off, but I'll accept that bet because I know I'm right. If you wanna make the bet, make the bet, but I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. So you're willing to bet your hair? Yeah, I, there's no way I'm wrong. I'll happily bet my ponytail. You're gonna be losing your hair, man. Hope they got a tutu in his size. <laughs> Alex, I'm glad you're here. What's up? Check out this score I've got. Philippine war knife. They call this a barong. Yes, they do. Me and Shum have a bet. What's it worth? What's the bet on? I bought that from your buddy Spencer. He came in and you weren't around. Yeah, and Shum paid 600 bucks for it. He thought I overpaid. It's worth about 300 bucks, right? Well, these are actually really popular with collectors, but what's really cool is this little label here the 26th Infantry Regiment, that's when it was formed in the Philippines for the Philippine insurrection. So this is a, a legendary infantry regiment, a regiment that's still in service today. These guys were in, in the beginning of World War I. They were some of the first troops in France. Same thing with World War II. They're at the Battle of the Kazarine Pass. And this early date, 1899, I mean, this could have been one of their first battles ever. That totally affects the value. If this were just a barong in this, it's, you know, $500 knife maybe, but with this and tied to the 26th Infantry Regiment, I think it's like, you probably get a thousand bucks for it. Boom. Damn it. All right, so what did you guys bet or whatever? Corey has to walk pinky in a tutu. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a walk right there. <laughs> Wait, turn around, let me get a picture of you guys. Corey, I really think you should get a small dog. What do you think, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done now. You know what, Corey? Pinky's not enjoying this walk. It's cool if you finish up now. Just take her back inside. I can't believe you got to wear that. You lost a bet. You know how I it is. I will never forgive you for this, chum. <laughs>
He offered me $1,000 to get out of it. Pictures are worth more than $1,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>